David is a very worthy recipient of this award. He does what he does very quietly. He has a huge impact. He's worked um, in the community, but doesn't ask for a lot of recognition for it. And I think it's time he gets some. Being awarded Man of the Year is, uh, is a very great honor for me. I'm humbled by, by that recognition. In um, his volunteer roles, not only at Transition House, but with some of the other places where he served, is helping the poorest of the poor in our community, folks that society has either forgotten or left behind. There are endless opportunities to volunteer in Santa Barbara. One of my satisfying activities is being a, a member of the uh, uh, Montecito Emergency Response and Recovery Action Group, Mirage, volunteering at uh, Cleveland Elementary School. That, that is uh, very satisfying. Another one uh, that we get a lot of satisfaction out of is uh, uh, helping to serve a dinner to homeless in Isla Vista. I would say uh, that experience is uh, really heartwarming. We're the ones uh, where the rubber meets the road, and, and so um, it, it feels good to know it's uh, excellent food, and we're the ones who put it in the hands of the uh, homeless that come through the line. David, I'm really happy for you. I congratulate you. I know that um, you do what you do not for recognition, but you deserve it, and you're one of my heroes. Really, being part of that uh, experience uh, at our time in lives is uh, sort of rejuvenating and we uh, see how families are here hopeful. They may have arrived here with only the clothes on, on their backs. So uh, all that's, those are high points. Being recognized as Woman of the Year is a great honor, and joining the past recipients has definitely put me in good company. I would like to think of myself as both a philanthropist and a volunteer. And believe me, there's no better way to feel good about yourself. Jalinda is so deserving of this recognition. Um, she has had uh, such a broad and deep impact on Santa Barbara from her work with uh, the arts community, International Film Festival, uh, Museum of Art. Um, she has a passion for those in need and her work with the Unity Shop. And then for us particularly, her work in improving the health of our community. Jalinda is kind, caring, and knows how to understand the needs of her community. She has given her time and support to many of Santa Barbara's most respected organizations. The depth and breadth of her contributions are, are legendary. For Cottage, she has uh, uh, co-chaired the uh, task force, a key task force that helped us build this new hospital. Uh, it, uh, uh, under her leadership, it raised 72 million out of the 110 million that was raised to build our new Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital. She has uh, chaired our Tierra Ball uh, for three years, raising nearly a million dollars for critical care services. And today she co-chairs um, our uh, campaign that is um, devoted to uh, supporting the programs and services that we operate in our new facility. Jalinda was unique because she noticed there were many poor families, seniors and children in Santa Barbara. Because she was involved in the Unity Telethon, she learned that Unity was trying to provide a helpful support system for low-income people. She helped raise funds for the Unity Telethon, so milk, eggs, chickens, fresh fruits and vegetables could be purchased. Jalinda saw a need. She gave us hope and touched the lives of thousands. She's a remarkable person and Unity's Woman of the Year every year. If you want to be an effective volunteer, good intentions are not enough. You have to be willing to do the work. If you are thinking about volunteering, I encourage you to do so. It will change your life, nourish your soul, and who knows, 
you just might be the next woman of the year.